Hello, this is Tom with the Tractor Rescue Ranch. I was just going to do another update on this 955 John Deere. Getting things cleaned up a little bit better to get things going back together. It's looking pretty good. Here's the part that goes on top of that. And I'd mentioned in the an earlier video the piston that pushes the three-point hitch up and down. I didn't have it apart, but I was going to go ahead and order a kit for it just in case and rebuild it while I got things apart. Well, this is what I found when I got it apart. There's an O-ring there and then a plastic spacer there. And you can see that it's a good thing I ordered those parts because it would have just squirted oil all over the place and, and not worked very well if I hadn't ordered them. Anyway, the, those parts and the cam that's broke, uh, I haven't got yet from John Deere. I called them this morning and they said it should be in this afternoon. I'm not sure whether it will make it in here this afternoon. And then I had another issue that I worked on and I think I solved. Turned out pretty good. This, we put a new piston on there, a new cylinder. A steering arm cylinder and this ball joint here was wore out on it and it's all hooked together so you can't just put a new ball joint on the end you have to do the whole thing but anyway that had gotten loose there and the hole was wallered out and so the new one that I put up in there was loose I couldn't get it to tighten up so anyway here's what I did to solve it the the other solution here would have been to replace that whole hub which would have been really expensive and what I did worked really well here's the old one that had wallered out the hole and so what I did is I took a piece of copper and heated it up and tapped it down on there and it tapped all the way up to the end and created a spacer. So I got that all fit and put it together and tightened that bolt up, tightened the nut up on it. And it sucked it all up in there real nice and tight. We'll keep an eye on it. This is just something I came up with. I don't know what that part would have cost to put that new hub out there. But I, the way these John Deere parts are, I wouldn't have been surprised if it would be $1,000 to buy that part. So anyway, I got the problem solved. And we'll just keep an eye on it make sure it stays tight if it doesn't stay tight we may have to just go ahead and, and order that new hub and get it together but i think it'll be tough fine because everything is just sucked right up in there nice and tight no movement at all on it so i think it'll be fine and just for a little caveat here i would not recommend doing that on a vehicle that goes up and down the highway i think this will be fine here on a little tractor it's just used for landscaping, but I would not do it definitely on a vehicle that goes up and down the highway. Anyway, things are coming together. If I can just get some more parts, I'll have this thing back together. Thanks for watching.